Hey you guys, it's Christina and welcome back to the 14 day fully raw bikini body challenge. Are you feeling it yet? I hope so because today we're about to pump you up even more. <laughs> I am going to be showing you three easy and intense outdoor home exercises that you can do. Getting a workout is free. No need to purchase a gym subscription for what I'm about to show you. Let nature be your gym and have fun being active. Getting fit is about using your body, using your muscles, and using energy. When you are active, it is good for your body and it makes you feel good. So let's get that blood pumping. Before we get started, I will remind you that I have just uploaded today's meal plan and super cool workout routine for you at FullyRod.com and the link is in the description of this video. And if you haven't already signed up for this challenge, be sure to do so there and like and comment on all 14 videos. That way you can get the free ebook at the end of the challenge. Today we will be starting off the day with 32 ounces of lemon water and then for breakfast we will be having fully raw holy grail juice or a cantaloupe smoothie if you want that. Both of these are packed with nutrients to give you enough energy to do the workouts that I am about to show you. Lunch will be a very simple and delicious banana and coconut water smoothie. Mmm. Dinner will be five cups of freshly squeezed orange juice with a tomato, cucumber, romaine salad and a mango tomato red bell pepper dressing. Yum! All right, you guys, I'm gonna be doing the workouts with you today and I'm gonna be showing you these three easy, quick and fun outdoor home exercises that you can do to burn calories. They take no special equipment and what I ask that you do is if you can, take a 20 minute walk, jog or run to get your muscles all warmed up and I'm gonna show you a few stretch exercises right now. To start off our stretches, I first want you to reach towards the sky, reach, 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 almost as if you're gonna to touch the clouds. And then I want you to come all the way back down and try and touch your toes. Hold that for as long as you feel comfortable and then spread your legs about shoulder width apart. Reach over to your right hand side and feel that stretch right there. And then when you're ready, move over to the opposite side. Bring your legs together, reach back up to the sky Come back up to a central position and then what I want you to do is I want you to go into a side lunge and really stretch the inner quad muscles of your legs. Hold that for about 15 seconds and then I want you to move over to the other side. And now I'm going to show you one of my favorite stretch poses and it's called the warrior pose in yoga. I want you to go ahead, stand up and then go into a simple lunge position. And then what I want you to do is firmly plant your back foot and then take your arms and reach them towards the sky together. When you feel balanced, I want you to take your opposite arm and put it on the ground and then twist your body upwards and reach towards the sky. When you're ready, I want you to go ahead, put your arm back down, put your foot back up and come up. And I want you to get into the opposite lunge position with your other leg. I want you to take both of your arms, reach towards the sky, and when you're ready, go ahead and put your opposite hand on the ground, reach towards the sky and feel that stretch. When you're ready, I want you to come back to your center, stand up and let's get ready for our awesome three exercises. The first exercise that I wanna show you today is what I like to call jumps to the sky. And I absolutely love this exercise because it is simple, it's fun and it's extremely intense and moves every muscle in your body. It's so much fun that it makes you want to jump to the sky. This exercise is literally a mix between a squat and a jump. So what I want you to do is I want you to get into a basic squat position and just touch the ground. And when you're ready, I want you to jump up as fast and as high as you possibly can, touch the sky, and then come back down into your squat position touching the floor. Be sure to watch your legs at this point. Make sure that your knees are right over your feet and that your back is as straight as possible. And I want you to do three sets of 10 of those. And if that's not intense enough for you, then you can do four sets of 25. And if you can't do this just yet, then definitely do a modification that works for you and do as many reps as you can. Woo wee! How do you feel? Are you feeling pumped up? 
The blood in your body should be flowing, you should be out of breath, and if you are not out of breath, then maybe perhaps you didn't do that exercise quite enough or didn't quite do it right. So let's move on to our next exercise. The second exercise that I'm gonna be showing you is what I like to call the suicide shuffles. Now don't let that totally scare you. This exercise is more cardio heavy. And if you've ever done shuffles or sprints before or done horses, then you're gonna like this exercise. What I want you to do here is I want you to pick two points, preferably far away from each other. That way you can run in between them. And what I want you to do is after you pick these points, I want you to run to one end, sprinting as fast as you can, and then I want you to shuffle back on one side. You're gonna sprint back to the other side, and then you're gonna shuffle back on your other side is to give both of your legs a similar workout. This exercise is intense. If you can, I want you to do three sets of 10, or if that's not enough for you, go as many times as you wish. You should be out of breath by now. How are you feeling? Are you feeling good? You just did the most difficult part of the workout. So give yourself a pat on the back. You're doing awesome. The third exercise that I want to show you is what I like to call cloud planks. And this exercise is a little bit less intense, but it is geared more towards toning the muscles in your body. And get this, for this one, you don't have to move at all. So if you're familiar with the typical plank position, which is basically just holding yourself up on your arms in a basic flat board position. What I want you to do is I want you to take it and flip this plank upside down towards the sky. And we are gonna call this a cloud plank. And this plank is excellent for your triceps, for your stomach, for your butt, and for your legs. And you can hold this as long as you want, but I recommend that you hold it three sets of one minute. And if you can't do this, then go ahead and do a basic plank. But this is a really awesome workout. If you guys have appreciated this video and if you guys want me to do more fitness videos like this, I think you should give this video a thumbs up. If you guys want more tips, tricks, or recipes on how to go fully raw, please subscribe here to Fully Raw Christina as we have fun learning about this lifestyle together and getting in shape. <laughs> If you guys are participating in the 14-day Fully Raw Bikini Body Challenge, please be sure to like the video and comment below what your favorite outdoor home exercises are. If you guys want to follow me daily and see what I ate today, you can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Fully Raw Christina. All right, you guys, I'm going to go and finish off this day with another 20-minute jog to loosen up my muscles a bit more, and I hope that you get outside and get active as well. Sending you all my hugs and my love. Bye.